This is episode number 281 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Hello and welcome. Sal DiVincenzo here with my fabulous colleague, Sarah Fade. Hi. And Nicole Rambo. Hello. How's everyone doing? Good. 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 Great. You know, uh, ladies, I'm giving you the uh, the week off. Oh, thank oh. you. Because you know what this week is? It's mm. uh, this week in history. Yes. What? Who died? <laughs> Who is murdered? Yes. <laughs> assassinated. Who is assassinated? Yeah. Yeah. Or what happened in Gettysburg? Yeah. This week? Yeah. <laughs> what happened in the Civil War this week? Yeah. Well, we're going to find out. Because we have Mr. Yes. Jimmy Ward back for another another special episode of right, This Week in right. History. So here, ladies, prepare yourself. Okay. Here it comes. Well, 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 who do we have here in the studio once again? Jim Ward. How are you, Jim? Good. How are you? Good. And that must mean only one thing. <gasps> This week in history. history. Well, welcome. And uh, so glad that you can stop by this week to talk about a very exciting week. Yes. You know, the the ladies uh, before were saying that you're probably going to talk about someone being assassinated or killed (laughs) or Gettysburg or Civil War. Is any of that happening this week? Possibly. (laughs) I can't confirm or deny such allegations. (laughs) All right. So just to remind our listeners – who haven't heard uh, This Week in History episode. This is where we talk about this week, the week that you're listening to this episode, the week this episode comes out. We talk about things that have happened in history. Yes. Uh, just to remind you that there's an amazing things that happen. You might not realize that they happened this week. Yeah. And in, June in and July seem there's to be a lot packed of, full a lot of, stuff of there. events. Yep. A lot of stuff there. And I also want to remind, fo- remind folks that I don't know what you're going to talk about today. So I'm learning this stuff right as you're speaking. Right. It's coming out of your mouth, hitting me in the face. <laughs> I'm learning it for the first Alrighty. time. Alrighty. Okay? Giddy up. All right. So let's go, Jim. All right. So. So the dates are. June 25th to July. Well. We're, yes. So. We're, we're going to take a little, a few liberties here. We are. It's, it's supposed to go till July 1st. But, but. Because the Battle of Gettysburg was July 1st through 3rd, and then, of course, you have the 4th of but July. You have to. Include. I can't not include the others. I so. know. It would be <laughs> yeah. a travesty of, of <laughs> our listeners would we revolt. They would, okay. and we can't have that. Exactly. All right, Jim, go for it. All right, so June 25th, 1862. Here we go. During the American Civil War, Uh-oh. the Seven Days Campaign began as Confederate General Robert E. Lee launched a series of assaults to prevent a Union attack on Richmond, Virginia. And uh, it, as the name of the battle campaign implicates, it's seven days. It was a seven days fight. So uh, there were fights at Oak Grove, Gaines Mill, Garnet's Farm. I mean, Malvern Hill, it was nonstop. Nonstop for seven days. Nonstop for seven days, resulting in over 36,000 casualties on both sides. And despite the final assault at Malvern Hill, the Confederates succeeded in preventing the Union Army from taking Richmond. Really? Yep. Oh, so that okay. just so it just really... extended the war. Yeah. And this was a point in time where Robert E. Lee um, was actually just coming on as the Confederate general of the Army of Northern Virginia. He had initially been an advisor to uh, uh, Jefferson Davis. Oh, but I then didn't realize that. Jo- Joseph Johnston was injured in fighting so then robert e lee took over for him oh i thought i thought lee was always involved from the beginning uh he was just uh initially yeah not in the field initially he was the advisor to president jefferson davis oh that's interesting so no idea this is when he really like came on and this is where his like legacy began to so where where was this in terms of the war is this like the beginning of the war the middle the Uh, the second year of the the second year of the war yeah so this was uh you know, still trying to get to Richmond, and they just kept getting pushed back. Then they tried other ways of getting to Richmond, and that led to another siege later on. And so it, it, it was it was like kind of like the middle of the war, I would say. Okay. All right. Then we have June 25th, 1876. General George A. Custer, leading 250 men, attacked an encampment of Sioux Indians near Little Bighorn River in Montana. Custer and his men were attacked by two to 4,000 Native Americans— only one scout and a single horse survived Custer's last stand. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. And then that began a whole war with the Sioux Indians, and it was it was a mess after that. Wow. So that happened this week, back in 1876? Yep. 1876. Isn't that insane? Wow, that is insane. Yep. 
And then, uh, let's see, what do we have? We have June 25th, 1929, President Herbert Hoover authorizes the construction of the Boulder Dam. It was later renamed the Hoover Dam. Oh, very yeah. nice. Have you been to Hoover Dam? I haven't been that far out you west. You haven't been that far out west? No. It's actually pretty cool. Halfway through the dam, it's you know the, the state line between Arizona and Nevada. Oh, okay. So it's kind of neat. And there are times during the year, because Arizona doesn't change um, – the daylight saving, they don't do that. Oh, okay. So there are times of the year that you, you know, you jump forward an hour and there's times that you don't jump at all. It's <laughs> a two hour. It's just crazy. So it's just oh, go so over funny. that line. It's just very cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I've been there. Uh, a number so like of you times. walk over the line, you're an hour ahead or an hour behind yeah, or, or an hour behind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's too funny. That's neat. A lot of June 25th. Wow. wow. Uh, June 25th, 1943, Dwight D. Eisenhower took command as Supreme Allied Commander in Europe. And then June 25th, 1950, the Korean War began as North Korean troops led by Russian-built tanks crossed the 38th parallel and launched a full-scale invasion of South Korea. A lot of violence and war happens this week. Yeah. it's it, strange? It's very strange. It's like everybody comes out of their house because of the weather's nice and then yeah. they decide to start trouble. Hey, <laughs> hey, we can do this. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's start trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, five days later, um, U.S. ground forces entered the conflict. Which lasted until July. Let me see, July twenty seventh, nineteen fifty three, when an armistice was signed, wow. and that's that what officially uh, divided the country into North, North and, and South, South Korea. Korea. Yep. Yeah. Here's a fun one. June twenty fifth, nineteen sixty seven, the Beatles recorded "All You Need Is Love" in front of an international television audience. Ah, yeah, very isn't that cool. something? That's very cool. Uh, same date, nineteen ninety one, uh, following the collapse of Soviet rule in Eastern Europe, the republics of Croatia and Slovenia declared their independence from Yugoslavia. Wow. A couple sad things here. June twenty fifth, because you haven't talked about sad. Yeah, things that's yet. true. <laughs> <laughs> June twenty fifth, uh, two thousand nine. Uh, you had Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett die on the same day. You know, that's interesting that you mentioned that because I remember that day vividly because I had come home, turned the TV on, and it was all over the news. And I remember later that day learning about Farrah Fawcett. Mm-hmm. And, like, Michael Jackson completely overshadowed yeah, the fact yeah. that she had passed. Right. And it was just crazy how these two icons passed at the same day. On the day, same day. And yet, you know, the way the news covered it, it was like a day yeah. a.m., so... It's kind of sad that, yeah. that that happened for Farrah Fawcett, exactly. that they didn't cover her as much. Exactly. Um, let's see. All right, we're moving on to June 26th. Okay. June 26th, 1498. Oh, the my goodness. To- the toothbrush is invented in China. Wow. Yeah, isn't that something? So the toothbrush was invented this week? Yeah. Uh, hundreds, and, uh, hundreds of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of Celebrate years ago. Celebrate by brushing your teeth. Exactly. Go for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, June 26, 1945, the United Nations Charter was signed in San Francisco by 50 nations, and the charter was ratified uh, in October of 1945. Okay. The UN? Uh, let's see. June 26, 1948, the United States began a massive airlift of food, Water and medicine to the to the citizens of West Berlin. Mm. That was the the famous Berlin airlift yeah. and uh, trying to because I guess with the Soviet Union they were dividing the yeah, country yeah. and, and then also the, the capital the itself. Yep. 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 Ironically enough, June 26, 1963, President John F. Kennedy made his famous speech in front of the Berlin Wall when he declared to the crowd, "Ich bin ein Berliner." <laughs> I am a Berliner. You almost got that right. Did I? <laughs> Not quite, though. But that's okay. That's all right, Jim. Hey, you got to give it a try every we'll, now and We'll let you give it a try. You know, Sarah has a hard time pronouncing names. We'll we'll let you get away with the, <laughs> with the German today. <laughs> <laughs> Never spoke German in my life. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> yes, but he did say, I am a Berliner, yeah. right? In, in yeah. German, yeah. And you, you know, Jim, just... It so happens you have a video. Uh, History Bites is out. Yep. About the Berlin Wall. Yes. So we should check that out. Put it in the show notes so people can watch Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it's about uh, from after World War II and all the way up to Reagan's famous tear down this wall speech and... A, it's a good one, so I hope you guys will watch it. Yes, absolutely. Here's a fun one. June 26, 1974, the barcode or universal product code is in, is introduced. So that was 1974. 1974, almost 50 years ago. Yeah. Uh, June, and it's been controlling us ever since. Ever since. <laughs> <laughs> everything. you got to scan everything. Scan everything. Uh, let's see. June 26, 1979, uh, heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali announced his retirement from boxing. What year was that? 
1979. It was that that early, huh? Yeah, isn't oh, that something? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else can I give you guys? June 27th, 1972, Atari is founded. <gasps> Uh, Good times Atari was. Many, many a brains became soft <laughs> <laughs> playing Space Invaders. Then you have June 28th, 1914. Again, very violent month. This yes, is. June and June is terrible. Archduke Francis Ferdinand. Oh, this is that? This happened? Was assassinated at Sarajevo, and that um, started World War One. Yeah, World War One starts. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Uh, let's see. Ironically enough, June 28th, 1919, the signing of the Treaty of Versailles Formerly, formally ended World War One. Okay, so so June five years June. to the day. I'm telling you, Jim. People come out of their house and like, oh, the weather's beautiful. It's great. It's yeah. nice and warmer. You know, the, <laughs> the grass is growing. The flowers are blooming, and people are like, I just want to start trouble. It's something. I think it's the. It could the, be. I think it's the pollen in the maybe. air. Maybe. Oh, maybe that drives people crazy. It does. It does. Drive I think that's what crazy. it is. Um, <laughs> June twenty eighth, nineteen ninety seven. I remember this one very vividly. Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear off. Yes. And that was gross to watch. He was, he was hungry. Yeah, he, he was hungry. Sna- <laughs> <a> snack. <laughs> oh, I just snorted. Excuse me, folks. <laughs> um, June 29th, 1956, uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, now President Eisenhower, mm-hmm. signed the National Interstate and Defense Highways Act to create 41,000 miles of interstate highways. Wow. Um, 1964, June 29th, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 is passed after an 83-day filibuster in the U.S. Senate. Um, 83 days. That's that's ridiculous. Isn't that insane? I mean, you know, looking back at it now, it is it is insane. It's, like you would think it would be it common just, sense. To, exact common sense, yeah. <laughs> but back our, then. Our common sense now is wasn't common sense back then. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, June 29th, 2007. Apple first Apple Incorporated first mobile smartphone, the iPhone, went on sale and it revolutionized the industry. Oh my goodness, it was the end of June, huh? Yeah, end of June 2007, 16 wow. years ago. Wow. You know, it's funny, I can't imagine a time when I didn't have an iPhone or I didn't have a smartphone, let's say. It's funny, right? And it's funny how it it was relatively not that long ago, 16 years. That's I mean, really you know, not. Really. It's it's amazing and, how and, technologically exponentially yeah. increased uh, over time. Yeah. I remember having the old flip phone. I had a flip phone and, too. Marlo and not Star just, Tech, yeah. Not just the flip phone, but the one that flipped up also so you could use the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Like, like oh, a, my goodness. Like an I know actual, still, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a BlackBerry? You know, um, like a, no, it was the um, it was a Samsung. Oh, okay. The Samsung Alias or something? Okay, or yeah. something along those lines. Because they all came lines. out with that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you had the Razor and I know, yeah, or all yeah. those fun ones. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Now we're going back. Yeah, memories. Uh, let's see. June 30th, 1971, the 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was enacted, granting the right to vote in all federal, state, and local elections to American citizens 18 years or older. And as a result of this, uh, the U.S. gained an additional 11 million voters. Wow. And the minimum voting age in most states had been 21. Interesting. So that is again something that today we take for granted. Yeah, that that, that eighteen year olds can vote. But it's amazing it's when you think that, about it that yeah, it was twenty one. Yeah. So so sh- you know, relatively in the grand scheme of things, relatively yeah. not a long time ago that yeah. has changed. It really wasn't. Oh, here's one. June thirtieth, nineteen ninety seven. Uh, the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was released in the United Kingdom. That's right. And it changed here because philosopher that people didn't understand the American the American uh, audience wouldn't understand it. Uh, so here it's the sorcerer. The sorcerer stone. Yeah. 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 July 1st, 1848, uh, the first photographs were used in a newspaper. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's some I don't, it still amazes me how they got that into paper. Yeah, right. Back then. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like yeah. it boggles my mind. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. July 1st. Okay. 1863. Dun, dun, dun. The beginning of the Battle of Gettysburg in this in the American Civil War. That's right. This is this is this is Jim's passion. Is <laughs> is we finally we finally have done it. We've aligned the stars and the time in order to have Jim on the show <laughs> to speak about the Battle of Gettysburg. This is my Super Bowl. This is your Super Bowl. <laughs> and then of course, <laughs> July 2nd. Still fighting at Gettysburg, the famous uh, 20th Maine charge down Little Round Top, which swept the Confederates off the hill, 
and save the union left on uh, on day two. And then, of course, day three, July 3rd, Pickett's Charge, which failed, um, you know, it was an all-out assault on the union position, and the union was able to withstand them. So it ended up being a union victory, and that sent the Confederates back south, back into Virginia. And this was a defining moment in the war. Yes, it was a turning point in the war, because yeah. Robert E. Lee would never again be uh, on the offensive, he would be more on the defensive yeah. then. So um, this really led to the war turning in, in the Union favor. How long after the battle did Lincoln speak at Gettysburg? Uh, it was it was then November 19th. Okay, so yeah. a few months later. A few months later, yeah. They they were, um, the, the burials on the battlefield were very, they weren't the best. Like haphazard, right? Ha- it haphazard, like, it, and it, it wasn't. Dig the, a hole and yeah, you know, terrible. And it wasn't. People were astonished at the sight of the battlefield, yeah. even with the burials. Yeah. So uh, the Pennsylvania governor wanted to um, create a burial, initially a, a burial ground for just Pennsylvania soldiers. Okay. But then it became uh, all Union soldiers mm-hmm. that fought at Gettysburg would be buried in that wow. in that national cemetery. And then, of course, uh, we have. July 4th. Yes, the bonus. 1776. <laughs> Declaration of Independence is adopted. Exactly. Signed a month later by uh, by the delegates. Yeah. And uh, here we are today. So much history happening this week. America. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, as usual, I am so happy that you're able to come down and talk about history because I know it is your passion yes. and, you're, and, you're, and it's something you love talking about. And, and of course, you spoke about the Civil War, <laughs> <laughs> people dying, and you've, 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 you've confirmed what Sarah and Nicole said in the introduction. They were correct. <laughs> they were correct. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Jim. Um, we're going to put a link in the show notes to your wonderful History Bites playlist. Yes. You have how many episodes are we oh, up to I now? Oh, I think we're up Over to 84 s- now. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, 84 episodes of History Bites. Yep. You can watch all of them from the start to the end. It'll take you a week. <laughs> and you can watch them and enjoy them, and they're, they're very well done, and, and we do appreciate you doing that on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right. And if you are listening to this episode on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button. Absolutely. Right? We need people to subscribe. Yeah, so see way. all the great videos. Exactly. Not just History Not Bites. Just There's history plenty bites. of uh, videos on Not there. Not just podcasts. There's all other stuff on Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Well, Jim, thanks so much for coming down once again for This Week in History. Thanks for having me. Okay, that does it for another This Week in History. And if you want to listen to the older This Week in History Mm. episodes, just go to mcplpodcast.com and you can do a search for This Week in History and you'll see all those episodes. Wow. Right? Gettysburg 1. Have you been to our... Gettysburg 3. Have you you been to our... uh, Gettysburg? No, I have not been to Gettysburg. (laughs) Sorry. Have you been to the mcplpodcast.com website? Of course. I put a nice uh, picture on there of us. With our wearing us our pink, I, yeah. Well, wearing I was pink. like, oh, <laughs> I know I did. I lied. Yes, it, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I it said was yes. when we were tripling. Yes, tripling. No, oh god, take that off. No, I look so bad in that picture. No, we'll you take look great. another one. You all I, look great. No, I know. I no, saw it and I was like, you look great. <laughs> yeah, it all looks good. No. It looks good. Yeah, we were all wearing I pink and not... we didn't. We did not plan it. No, we did not. <laughs> Nor yeah. did we plan the photo, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yes, but that's where all our older episodes are. And do you know you can comment on the mcplpodcast.com site, the oh, Podbean no. site? You can comment if you want. You could review us, too, yes. on iTunes, right? Just don't review Put the a picture. review. Give us five stars because that will help us maybe get the word out that we are a podcast and we, we talk about great. very great things and all cool things about well, libraries and things that like pop. That we should pop be culture. syndicated yes. and picked up yes. and made into a TV series. Do podcasts TV series. get syndicated? They do sometimes. Well, not syndicated. They become part of a network. Oh, yeah. So maybe we be become part of a library podcast network. Oh. Oh, yes, they have to make Do one we first. One? Let's, let's make <laughs> yes, it. Yes, we should just make yeah. one, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be like media executives. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and see, and we don't have to do this anymore. We can just have somebody else do the podcast. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No. no. I, I enjoy this. I enjoy this. Anyway. We'll be like special when we come on. Like, Ooh. Oh, it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so special. <laughs> yes. They'll the, say, ew, all right. <laughs> The original, the uh, what, what are they called? The, the OG, OGs. The OGs are, are back, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so thank you so much for listening. Again, uh, hit the like button on YouTube if you're listening on YouTube. Hit subscribe. We'd love to get more subscribers. Mm-hmm. And we greatly appreciate 
uh, you listening and you and keeping up with us. And we have some great shows coming up over the summer, so definitely stay tuned for that. And and a, and a huge gigantic announcement coming up oh. about how you are going to uh, consume this podcast. It's going to be much more visual in the future. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? Get out your cutlery. You're going to be consuming. Yes. So thank you so much for listening. <laughs> for Sarah Fade, for Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show.